What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be drawing uh, this shape here. Let's take a look see. Okay, it's uh, some weird looking um, spacer plate or guidance plate, and, and we're going to try and draw this up in Autodesk Inventor Professional 2019. So when you get to Autodesk, go ahead and press New, Standard IPT File, Create. It's going to take a minute. So when you're going to select your plane from which that you're going to work in this document, uh, press Start 2D Sketch. I think it's probably a good habit for this plate to draw it in the XZ plane because that's the direction that the th like if you were to 3D print this or that's what we're, we're that's the tool we're going to be using this with. So practice drawing things flat, laid flat on the XZ plane. So I'm going to choose the XZ plane. We're going to zoom in. When I'm drawing this object, the base is 70. It's a good common practice to make sure that you have the shape somewhat centered um, as best you can and so you can do that a couple different ways I'm just gonna start with the bottom edge on this flat side and it's centered which means I'm gonna take my line and I'm gonna go out um, 35 in this direction press enter and 35 in this direction you can use the command key or use L to get to the line tool and escape to exit the line tool. I'm also going to zoom to fit. Okay, so a total, this is the bottom edge, a total distance of 70. I did 35 on each side so it was centered. Okay, starting with my line tool, let's go back and take a look. I want this next edge. We're going to ignore these rounded corners for now. We'll come back and deal with those later. Um, I want this edge here to be 20. Let's go ahead and do that. Press my L for line. Coming up. 20. Let's escape, zoom to fit. Now this next section is a little more challenging. Um, it looks like the center, center of the circle is, we don't have a whole lot of information here, but it looks like it's lined up with the center of this uh, shape here, and we know that that's 5. So halfway is going to be 2.5 from here to here, and it's 20 from here to the edge. So you have 20 plus 2.5 is 22.5 from the center of this little divot, which is lined up with the center of our circle all the way over to here. My goal is I need to know what the heck this piece is. So if we know from here to here is 22.5 and I know from the center of the circle to this to this edge is 32.5, I can subtract them to find that this length is 10. The following edge is 20 and the next edge is 20 plus 5 plus 10, 35. My line tool, press L, 10, come up, make sure it's vertical, 20, zoom to fit, L, 35, drawn pretty fast here. If you want to move a dimension, remember you can just hover over, click and drag it to the spot where you need it. Cool. Nice. Alright, so I need to do this diagonal here in my image. The problem is um, it's kind of a, at this weird spot here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start with this bottom line, starting from this edge here, uh, lock my little anchor point there, come up 15. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the outside edge of each of these. So it looks like these are coming out at a 45 degree angle. Otherwise, this wouldn't, these wouldn't be kind of rectangular shaped. So I'm going to come back to my application coming out. Um, now to get to your angle measurement, if you can't get it locked on 45, oh, it looks like that's a little bit wider, isn't it? So I guess we want that to be 135. So we'll come out 15 and then press tab to make it 135 degrees. So you can tab over to that angle measurement there. Press escape. Uh, I'm going to zoom to fit. And maybe zoom out even a little further. Actually, that's pretty fine. I'll click and drag. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to get my line tool here. Click on this point. Same thing. Uh, this one, we want to make it parallel to the one before. 
Looks like it's stuck at 45. I'm going to type in 15. I got that length 15 from the drawing um, right here. So, or that right here. So you can see the length of 15 present right there. All right, now this next part, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge, is figuring out where this line is in the image. You can see it's 10 wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two with my line tool. I always go up to the line tool. I don't need to. You can just press L, click here, come down, snap to the grid. And you'll notice if you hover over, the dot will turn green when you get to the midpoint. So it kind of locks. Now, if that's the midpoint of my drawing, I look back, that's got to be 10 wide, which means I need to go 5 in each direction. So I'm going to go 5 this way, um, and I'm going to go 5 this way. Okay, super. Now I use this line as a guide. I'm going to delete it as a construction line. And I'm going to come up and draw these two lines opposite the ones that we had. 15, and maybe zoom a little bit better. Escape, drawn, coming up here, make that perpendicular at 15, and connect. Okay, we kind of have our closed shape here, which is nice, and I think this is looking pretty good. Seem to fit. Now, I, this is kind of a construction line for me. If we go back to our document, we know that there's a little divot in there. I'm going to work on that divot next. Seems like it's good to work on the perimeter before you work on anything else. So you come over 10, down 10, over 5, up 10, and then finish off that, that little rectangle. Well, we probably could have done that before, but it's all right. It was just a guide to get us started. So I'm going to delete this, get my line tool out, come on over, come over 10, down 10, over 5, up 10, and round off by the 20, 20 there. And you can move any of these things that you need to get them out of your way so it looks nice and pretty. Okay, cool. Now we're going to do, we've got kind of the rough shape. Things are looking good. Um, let's do our circle in the middle. Now if you take a look at the document, it says it's got a radius of 10. Uh, Autodesk Inventor Professional. Um, asks you, prompts you for the diameter, so we're going to use double the radius, which is 20, to draw our circle. And you're probably thinking, why would you draw it in the, this shape? It doesn't look very, like it's in a very good location, or it looks like even close to the location. That's because we're going to constrain this circle to be in a certain location. And you're going to do that. To do that, you press the dimension key. You can click on the center of the circle and go to the outside edge. Um, and I'm going to set that dimension to be whatever it needs to be. Let's see. It says from the center of the circle to the outside edge it needs to be 32 and a half inches. So you come back in, click in the box, we're going to type 32.5, press enter, and it'll slide my circle over to where it needs to be. Assume so we get a little better view. Okay. Um, so even though we have a line here, you're not measuring this distance, you're measuring the distance from there to there. Common confusion. Okay, we still have our dimension selected. I now want to do the dimension from the center of the circle to this bottom edge and over, and we're going to make that 15 inches. So that's going to move our circle. It's currently 11.9. It's going to move it up roughly 3 inches. Boom. Okay, and remember how I did these lines before? They were separate lines. That's kind of bugging me a little bit. I'm going to reconstruct these two as a solid line. I think it's logically equivalent to the program, but whatever. Oh, we lost our constraints. Oh, well. We can add those back in. 15, boom, enter, and this one's 32 and a half, should be there still. Good. All right, cool. Um, the last thing we've got to do uh, is we have to add our, add our fillets. So the fillet is that nice rounded corner. I'm going to come in and choose a fillet, and I'm just going to tell you it looks like it's about five. Um, let's say you choose the wrong fillet. To use a fillet, you click on the fillet option, you click on the two edges that you want to round, this one and that one, and it made a very, very small one that we can't really see. So um, what I'm going to do is you can change it without having to redraw it by clicking the dimension option, uh, choosing the radius of that circle. I'm going to choose it to be 5 inches, 
and press enter and then it's nice and rounded. Now when I zoom out, I think that my dimension slides away. I don't know why it does that. But I'm gonna bring that bike back down in and zoom to fit. Drives me bonkers. Oh well. Okay, so there's our drawing. Uh, and let's go ahead and fill up those other couple corners that are in the drawing. Now before, so I don't have to resize, I'm gonna change this to five inches. Click this edge and this edge to round it, and this edge and that edge to round it. And good, there it is. Now, our figure's done, we're done drawing it, so we're gonna type press finish sketch. You are not able to save this unless you press this option. Finish sketch, the zoom goes all crazy. Zoom to fit, you guys can marvel at the beauty that you've created, um, and then you're gonna go ahead and save. So you do that, you press file, save as, and please save things to, um, appropriately to your H drive. All right, that's gonna go ahead and do it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys make something awesome.